What is up guys, it's October bringing you my first tutorial on this channel. It's going to be on 3D cubes um, and prisms in Photoshop. And we're going to make it one from this angle right here and one like this. And um, we're going to add some things inside, kind of make like a like a 3D environment slash aquarium if you want, like I did in my um, one of my previous uh, speed arts. So let's get started. File, new. I'm just going to do the standard size, 1920 by 1080. Okay, and then I'm going to add a background so it's easier for you guys to see. I'm just going to I'm just going to add a black. Okay, and then add a new layer. Bring rectangular marquee tool, shift, drag and let go make a perfect square that way um, go to the color picker doesn't really matter what color you're gonna do um, actually I'll just do a gradient go to your gradient tool and drag across that way and there we go there's one side of our cube duplicate it two times one right click duplicate okay there's two. You can hide the top two um, for now, and we'll just work with the first one. Um, what we're going to do is Command or Control T. We're going to drag the height up here. Um, we're going to adjust the height and the width and V and the angle. Um, so grab from the bottom, and we're going to make the height 90 or close to it. You can always zoom in and make it more accurate than mine. Um, but then we're going to take the left side and adjust the width to 70 right click inside skew and then grab the right side and pull the V up to negative 25 um, and then apply the transformation you can show uh, select your next layer go to edit transform again edit transform flip horizontal and then looks like I've kind of have my cube upside down let's I'm going to select both of these go to edit transform rotate 180 degrees and now all we have left is the top of our cube so select your last layer, Command and Control T, Shift, rotate to negative 45 degrees up at the top, and line up the corners like this. Um, alter Option, click the bottom point and drag until it fits. And it's not perfect, but it's close. Um, and there's that way to make a cube. The um, this is probably the harder way to add things inside this way, but the other way we're gonna do the cube is a lot easier. So um, I'm just gonna group these and hide them, and we'll do the other way. So it doesn't it doesn't have to be a cube. Um, by the way, it can be like a cube or a prism type thing. Um, but I'm just gonna do a cube in the tutorial. I have stupid updates. Uh. All right, so I'm gonna make a rectangle right here. Um, I'm gonna fill it with any color; it doesn't matter yet. Um, yeah, actually, I'll make it a blue. Make it look like water. Um, grab my bucket tool. Fill it in. Um, rectangular marquee and then click outside to deselect right click duplicate the layer um, drag it underneath hold sh uh, hold shift and drag it up and then we're going to um, put a ruler on this so commander control R to pull up the ruler and just drag from the top and it should snap in to place with the layer you have selected 
Um, we're going to put this on every side of the rectangles. Okay, once we have that, let's make a new layer on the top. Take our pen tool, click in between each of the intersection points of the ruler we just created. Press Command or Control, hold it down and then press enter and it'll make a selection um, take your paint bucket tool and fill it in right there and now make a new layer again and we're gonna do the same thing with the right side take the pen tool click on each intersection point it should snap in there so you don't have to be extremely accurate like so command or control hold it down then press enter to pull up the selection paint bucket fill it in um, next thing we're gonna do is make the top and the side darker so we're gonna double click on the side layer color overlay choose our color picker from right here and click on that color and we're just gonna darken it up a little bit like this press ok ok now go to your top double click color overlay do the same thing um, choose this color just darken it up a little bit it can be a little bit less or a little bit more than the one on the side and um, there we go and now we're gonna take the top layer we're gonna make it 55 opacity or so we're gonna take the back layer which is this one right here we're gonna make it 55 as well now we're gonna take the front layer we're gonna make it 85 opacity and then we're gonna take our last one the side and we're gonna make it 85 as well Com um, commander control R to, um, oh, to get rid of the ruler and commander control H to hide your lines and we have a cube so now let's uh, add some things inside of it. Uh, find a texture. I'm just going to use this metal texture. Um, you can find ones like looks like ground or dirt, or something like that. Um, just drag it into Photoshop. Make it a little bit smaller. Place it. Um, let's see. Command or Control T. Uh, hold down command or control and draw up first before we do that actually um, press command or control H to bring up your ru ruler again and then um, control or command T to transform now hold down command and click on this corner and we're gonna drag it right in there to each intersection point right there and right there now we can hold shift and press the up arrow and it looks like we have a little bit of ground here now I'm gonna add another texture in here place it command T or control T hold down command or control and we're just gonna drag it in the side right here 
we're gonna make it's kind of like a side view of our um, environment that we're doing and there we go um, and you can do the exact same thing for the the side I'm just not gonna do it for sake of time um, next what we're gonna do is right click rasterize the top layer um, of the stone then go over to filter liquify and we can make this look um, a lot more realistic by clicking and dragging creating bumps in the stone or the ground that we're making here and then once you like how it is just press OK and um, you could add some brushes in here make a new layer brushes um, maybe add some clouds in our environment um, I'll put this brush in the description uh, let's see clouds choose oh, let me change the color to white and all you have to do is click with these brushes I'll add them in the description for you guys and um, it's a little big and um, there we go we could let's see we could add plants in here this is an underwater plant but it, it's alright let's see um, place it let's see hide um, our lines and make a layer underneath the plant and take a black color from the color picker go to your brush um, click this arrow to the right reset your brushes then um, choose a no hardness and size about 36 is fine and then just paint underneath for a little bit of shading and shadow lower the opacity of this layer right here and there you go that's um, creating cubes and or and or prisms and um, adding things inside and I hope this helped um, for this your ruler is your best friend so um, always make sure you have those when you do that to make it absolutely accurate um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon